Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I purchased a stupid little funny thing that I am hoping to do a video on. This is barely enough to do a video on so if you're not watching this well it didn't make it but uh, well, I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> um, it's a power meter. It's one of those things that you plug into the wall and you plug something else to it on the front and it shows you how much power it uses. But this one is a smart one so um, it can it uses an app so um, let's um go check it out and first of all it's not sponsored i coughed up the cash myself to buy this um s1 energy socket uh it doesn't really have a name it's it's uh, i bought it on ebay in germany so some of this is in german here and there noise so it's new so yeah, came in a boring box, had some wrapping, sorry, not eBay, Amazon in Germany, uh, because it came in an Amazon box, uh, I bought three things and this was one of them. So it comes with a manual, one side is Chinese and the other side is English, which is very convenient, but the device is kind of cheaply made. It. Um, does not have much of a quality feel to it, so uh, good thing that this is the sponsor video because, well, it does kind of have a name here. A touch, A T O R C A. I can't say that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But well, it um it has three buttons and it has a very nice color display. Um, but the, the interesting thing and why I think this might just make it into a video is that very often I like to show what something uses of power and you can use a display like this or I can use my iPad or my tablet and we can get some very big nice numbers on this and I have had this out of the box and make sure that I could actually figure out how it works because some of these Chinese uh, products can be a bit iffy to get up and running. This one is um, European version, this has the German plugs. So um, yeah, we are very big fans of the German plugs, we like those a lot. Um, it does from AC 85 to 265 volts, 50 and 60 hertz, 16 amps. That's a bit too much for here. Usually our normal sockets are only allowed to be 13 amps, but there is uh, use cases for 16 amps. That's uh, like if you charge your electric vehicle at home, that would very often be a 16 amp. Um, and it has a wire going out here and it comes with a temperature sensor. And we will see that when we get into the software that uh, you can actually turn on and off this thing from the app and uh, you can use the temperature to turn it on and off at specific point so uh, yeah let's try and pop this in the let's pop this in and then pop it in the wall uh, because this is very convenient to just have that otherwise this sensor is gonna be nowhere to be found in no time you kind of know that um, the manual is not very good I must say um, it does have a lot of information but like down here is where to go and get the software for it and it's it's kind of dodgy and over here is there's two versions there's a Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi version this is the Wi-Fi version and then I have to go and get something called TUI or light or smart life app I did that and and that did work but I just don't like this manual it's everything is too small and different fonts so like there is there's a font here there's a font here there's another font here and so yeah, it, it's it's weird and everything is too small why does it need to be that small it's not as if they couldn't fit a bigger manual in here there's room for it so right here I have a uh, studio light like for filming and you can see that I've plugged that into the wall right there so we're gonna steal that and um, plug the power meter which I have put right there in between so we can turn on and off that light 
sorry about the noise in this video. I'm copying data on a on a server right here, and I could probably close the door. I'll do that. Okay, that did help a little bit. So let's turn this off. Unplug this and plug in the power meter here. If I can heat it and turn it on. So we see we get some air. Almost looks like it runs Linux for the, yeah. So. so there are some different stuff there and it shows the temperature of the temperature sensor. So I could try and warm that up. I'll put my fingers on it. 20.7, 20.8, 22. Okay, we had to change the battery on the camera, but yeah, temperature sensor is working, so uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm a bit of a cold one here, but we can also see that the connection is seems like it's it's on, and the voltage is measured here. And it says that's the max voltage. I don't know what OCP 10. Oh, that's the maximum amount of amps, apparently. So let's pop the light in. See if it turns on when that connection is like that. And it did. So the connection is on. And we can now see that it draws some power here. It shows us how much wattage we have drawn. So uh, in testing this, I have apparently used 0 0.0028 kilowatt hours, which is not a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, we have some buttons here, and so we get some different views here. And right now, it's using like 21.6 watts. So another one, different info, and that was the first one. So let's just go through them. There's one. Two, three, four, four different views on it. And I'm very bad at pointing the camera in the right direction, apparently. This one also have an icon for Bluetooth down here. I wonder if it does both. So before starting filming, I did mess around with it on my, uh, on my tablet here, which, uh, here. so uh, apparently it lost connection so that's and it has connection again it's powered on and it has a big fat button that we can uh, we can press and we can see that the light goes out in the background right so it does work and it says that the temperature is 22.2 I think that sensor is still cooling down from when I touched it uh, it goes down quietly but um, this is the app that I downloaded, the Tuya, Tuya smart thing. So um, yeah, that's the one, and and it did kind of find the device all by itself. So if we go further down, we get the useful information about power usage. We can see the voltage, the current amps, and the wattage. So kind of, it takes those two numbers and it uh, multiplies it and it becomes that. So not that difficult. And we can see how much power we have used here. And we can probably tell it how much the power costs and it would be able to calculate that there. I haven't done that. I would expect that was in here somewhere. Yeah, we can put the price in here in uh, whatever we are doing, so. And we have Celsius, and we have different stuff. We can set the amps. Apparently we can go higher than 10 amps if we want to. At the moment it's set to 10 amps. I don't know what happens if you do that, but um, it goes up to 16, down to zero. Let's set it back to 10, if I can hit that. <laughs> okay. There we are. Comfort. Cool. And we can also get some graphs. So now I haven't run this for long, but if it was using different, if the power was fluctuating, right now this is measuring the temperature. 
and this view here is the voltage, the wattage and the amperage. Yes, and we can set our finger at any point and it will tell us how much it was using at that point. So, and the last thing down here, the kilowatt hours, probably a graph that would go up like that. So, um, so it over time it can also do some stuff. So that could be handy. It's, uh, it's a new day. Um, the tablet wanted to update and that took forever and ever. So we can now uh, we can go in again. Let's see. I don't want notifications, but let's see. Oh, it doesn't go this direction. That's a bit sad. It would have been easier to film. But now you can see that my temperature in my living room has gone up quite a bit because I have the wood stove on. Um, at the moment the, the power is on, we can turn it off again and it does that very nicely. We did that yesterday. Also we have the stats down here where it shows us how it looks. And the top one here is the temperature. Current temperature in Celsius and current temperature in Fahrenheit. And then we have the power level down here. And we can kind of see the voltage is kind of constant here. And the red thing goes up because just before I started recording, I turned the lights on so we can see what it's doing. And we can even go back and t tell it to do a month. Well, this is um, only a few days. So apparently it starts at the first of the month, the 1st of February, and then it it adds the rest of it. But yeah, we can see that it's doing something, which is really nice. I don't know why the voltage goes up like that. That's a bit of a, a funny thing to do. Going back, there is also the ability to turn on and off depending on the temperature. So like here we can go in on the heating and we can set some start and stop temperature. So let's say that it was a um, air conditioning an air conditioning unit, for example. Actually, if it was an air conditioning unit, we would probably need it to be doing some cooling instead. And then if the temperature went over some degrees, like, well, 26.5 is kind of high. So if the temperature went over 25 degrees, we could turn on the air conditioning and it would do some cooling. And the other way, if, it, um, if we needed it to be uh, heating up, we could say that if the temperature goes below some temperature, it can turn on and it can turn off again when it reaches that temperature. So that's kind of cool. We have the same thing over here at a schedule thing where we can set different schedules for it to do. And I set up some yesterday, so I hope they are still in here. So I put some in here. We'll see. I told it to turn on at um, 5.30, 17.30, and then uh, turn off again at 6 o'clock, 1800. Is that visible? Yeah, you can see that. And I can activate them over here and tell it that these are active and it should do that when it reaches those times. So I'll disable those again. So. Same thing we can do. Oh, I haven't done anything in here. There, I'll put in a a thing with the temperature that can be enabled or disabled. I have apparently enabled it. Oh, I'll disable it. So um, you probably can't you probably can't do all of them at the same time. You can select one of them, and then when you make another one, well, the first one will be disabled. So that, that's pretty smart because otherwise they will most likely conflict with each other. So that's kind of cool. So this thing does a lot of stuff. It's the ATORCH Temperature Control S1TW. I wanted a good one. So I picked one that was quite expensive. This was 40 euros plus. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description if you're interested in going see more of this but really the the primary thought of this was just to um, be able to see how much power a device is using so at the moment 
it's telling me that it's using 21.44 watts which is a lie because I can see that the lamp is off okay we need to go there and we can turn that on and does it update it still says the same down here so let's turn it off does it update I have a bit of a feeling that it doesn't update the tablet here quite as much as I would have hoped for yeah I do have an issue if set 60 seconds you can only experience five minutes now it updated at least uh, well how long does it take before it turns on here so apparently that might be it 10 seconds is how often it updates we could do that we can count it let's see next time it updates i'll count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay about ten seconds so we could put it to one second okay so there is more active I like that better, I must admit. Uh, nice to see something happening. It might fill up the lock a lot quicker. And over here on the display, we of course have most of the other, the same information. And I have found the watts down here, so I was a bit confused to start with. And it's, it's in red, so it's very difficult for the camera to pick up, and my eyes as well where this yellow one is very clear and the red one is very dark. I don't know if we can improve on that by the altering the angle, but yeah, that's a bad color for that. Or they did have different um, settings, but again, the, the wattage is in red. And again, it's in, well, well, this one is at least bigger and red, so. Maybe if I just know that, I look for the red and it will uh, be okay. So it's kind of, I'm trying to make a good thumbnail for this. So uh, yeah, it does that, it does that and it uh, measures power and you can turn it on and off. So that is kind of cool. So yeah, it's a nice little device, I must admit. And it does a lot of stuff that I don't know what is yet. Why do they waste space for the OVP 265 volts and the 10 amps? Oh, yeah, I think it does more than I, uh, I know right now. And <laughs> it also shows the CPU temperature in here, which is 32 degrees. So um, yeah, that's a bit of a funny there. So <laughs> there is most definitely the chance that I bought um, more than I was hoping for here. It might be too complicated for what I needed to do. My thought is people always ask me, how much power does that server use? Or how much power does that booster pump or something, something else use? And sometimes I am, I have some of these, but they have gotten very dutchy over the years and they weren't very reliable. This one seems to be very reliable with the power, like I've only run it with this lamp until now, but it's very consistent and telling me what this lamp uses. It's not all over the place at least, and that's, um, that's better than some of the other ones that I've messed around with, so this is, this is fine. You will see this again in later videos. I'm gonna try and use it for something meaningful along the way. And the ability to turn on and off stuff remote eh, could get in handy, you know? So um, yeah, I do hope that you got something out of this video. And either way, if you figured out this product is not for you, please give it a like. I saved you a lot of money. You don't have to buy this at all. If you find that this might be useful for you, well, give it another like. And I know that um, it might be um, hard for me to sort that out, but don't you worry about that. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.